The debt ceiling debate ended up positively for the market, averting a potential government shutdown. But more importantly, a default. The market looked positively at that and saw a slight increase in employment, uh, 3.4 in April to 3.7 in May, while the Fed's favorite inflation metric, the PCE headline, saw its first upward change since June last year, marking 4.36% in May. That's above last month. PCE core, however, remains flat since December. And that is kind of not a positive sign for OZC. Now, in the month of May, tech sector rallied 9%, followed by communication services and consumer discretion, while the rest of sectors plummeted, with energy sinking to 9% in May. As a result, for 2023, tech now is 34% up, especially in the semiconductor industry, followed by communication services and consumer discretion at 20% all beating the S&P 500, which is now, I think, about 9.6%. After two weeks of volatility, U.S. Treasury yield is stable again. By the end of May, we saw the money market yield moving to low 5%, between 5 to 5.5. That is up from 4% by end of April, while the capital market remained at a similar point to April indicating an elevated level of demand on the longer end of the curve. We would like to think that the Fed hike rate cycle is near its end, but stubborn inflation does not support this narrative. Also, we are taking note that the Federal Open Market Committee consensus has dropped from unanimous to almost 50-50 split, which also says a lot about the concern the committee has about keeping rates high for a prolonged period of time and its effect on the economy overall um, and its unemployment specifically. 